will have a brief introduction to the definition of an illustration. The origin of the word illustration is late Middle English, means to illuminate. An illustration is a decoration, interpretation, or visual explanation of a text, concept, or process. That is, illustration can make the meaning of the text clearer. The dictionary explanation is a drawing or a picture in a book, some in the middle of the text and some as insect images. The process of illustrating something, a story or an example that clearly shows the truth about something. In today's terms, it is a narrow understanding. It is mainly for big design. Thanks to the information era, the source by which we receive information will increase, and so will the field of it. So the definition of illustration has more than big design now. It will spread to all aspects of our lives, such as poster design, music, CD design, product design, even many online e-readers. The pictures between the text all could be called illustration design. Illustration is actually the visualization of text, the use of images to express the contents. This visualization can greatly enhance the charm of words. It is a recreation of the text. In general, the interpretation of images doesn't require the presence of language. I mean, the person who is illiterate is also able to understand the meaning of an image. This also shows that illustration will have some advantages over words. It is a universal language. Now look at some sample works. This group of works should be an evolution from traditional painting to modern illustration. Not by the same artist, but different people drawing the same thing. The first one is by Francesca. He was a 15th century Italian painter and an early Renaissance artist. He was as famous as Vermeer at the time though not known in the history of Chinese art. Later, there were many artists or illustrators who studied this work by him and made some changes. The title is The Duke and Duchess, which is a state in which the couple is facing each other. The letter three all evolved from this work. In the bottom left, it's actually a street graffiti. It's painted on the door. We'll see that the painting has a great sense of humor. These two very serious characters have been given two pairs of glasses. They're pilot glasses. He must have taped a piece of paper, which seems to be torn. So the painting has a mutilated beauty, coupled with a sense of humor, which makes the previous traditional oil painting very funny and interesting, or to say, very close to today's life. It is probably an important element to the popularity of street art. It is very close to people's lives. This last one is a drawing with a fountain pen. The lines of the pen are smooth, with a little color water rendering added. There is a very thick watercolor in it. The lines of the pen are not merely smooth and straight, but also dotted. His hair, for example, has a great color. So the whole picture makes us feel relaxed and smooth, and the structure of the picture is a mixture of tightness and looseness. So there is a difference between a picture like this and a traditional painting. The letter gives a sense of rigor or authenticity, like an old photograph. So that's the beauty that illustration has, what traditional art may not be able to achieve. Now we're looking at some hugging pillows. They are all covered with illustrations. Usually we see or like the ones I have back home. The hug pillows are mostly colorless, like Muji ones. But I can say that a lot of the hug pillows today decorated with figures or flowers aren't beautiful. It also has a sense of beauty, which means that when such a pillow comes along, there are more options in people's lives as consumers or as viewers. I choose what I like and decorate my home. I think this is a way illustration affects people's lives. Now, these are both very practical design pieces one on a t-shirt and one on a bag. Let's first look at the illustration on the t-shirt. First of all, this part of the hand was soon on later, so it has a sense of space. 
it feels like it's three-dimensional. Also, the feeling of this pen coming out of the body is enhanced by the cut and paste method used. In addition, the best feature of the work is the sense of humor. It's like an attack on the chest. I think the design is able to reflect the personality of young people nowadays because of the strong personality. I'm sure such a product will be very popular. There is nothing special about this bag. The images are in the simplest of black, white, and grays. The artist uses planes, lines, and dots at some point. The looseness and closeness of the picture is handled very well. The good aspects of the picture, in professional terms, is the well-handled relationship of the visual flow. For me, either as a teacher or a designer, I would choose a bag like this because the bag has certain features and the designer has his own language in it, so this work is great. Now let's look at the keychain, it's also with illustration. Most of the key folks we see outside like in small shops or are very um, clear squares or objects, but this keychain adds a bit of the, a graphic element or line in it. This shape of plane is emphasized, thus increase the sense of beauty. Now this one is the use of illustration on packaging. The piece has some vintage colors and then some molded texture effects. So the bottle feels clearer than it is. The texture added a bit more interest to it. This piece is an alarm clock. We see a lot of alarm clocks in our lives. I have an alarm clock without any graffiti or illustrations, just a white or log colored one like the Muji's. But sometimes I also think this style of item is good. Muji's min minimalist style is a kind of beauty, but complex graphics aren't necessarily not beautiful. But you should know that multiple things appearing on one screen at the same time actually is easier to fail, or rather, Human eyes are very picky, and we look at things with a picky eye all the time. Then this alarm clock, I wouldn't be picky about it, because though there are many elements, it produces a certain beauty. The black, white, and gray relationship is well handled. Like, I classify the bird's head to black, and then take the piece of feather on its belly and put it with short threads. There's an overlap where the lines intersect, and this overlap becomes the shape of feather. Because the designer uses brush stroke and forms this texture naturally, the picture also appears vivid.